Oh, hello guys, welcome to Kampala Age Times. As I promised you, we'll be hosting uh, the most relevant people in Uganda. My name is John Kenny, and welcome to Kate Edge Talk. I'm going to interview a young gentleman who is doing something that is very inspirational. You're going to learn a lot from it because um, as young people, we have always thought that life is about enjoying, but I've never thought about being productive. So we're going to share a lot with him and I expect you, I tell you to keep watching such that you get uh, the best idea of this. So guys, I, as I told you, I am right here at Kabiro Geeks um, and the place is quite cool as far as you can see, it's really dope. Um, uh, you're going to learn a lot because this is the inspiration. Uh, when, when you're living under this period, when we are all in lockdown and all these kinds of things, at the end of the day, we have to eat, we have to, to benefit from our sweat. And uh, needs do not know your limits. So I'm going to interview this gentleman. Watch the video to the end and uh, I I'm sure you you'll learn a lot. So how are you doing, mister? Uh, can you introduce yourself to us? Hey guys, my name is Jonathan and uh, I'm, I'm at Cabello Books. I'm a graphics and web designer and also a fine artist. So I do a couple of things from 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 all graphic creations and uh, and printings. And uh, as you can see, I'm working on some projects here. A couple of things that I do from the displays that are around. We have. Uh, we have a lot of things that we do in town, so still many things to talk about, uh, and I hope that you're following. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, uh, so tell us, uh, how, how did you decide to, to, to do art? Did someone inspire you, made you decide to start doing art? Man, we all went to school and we, and we, we had how we thought life is like. Um, we thought after school, we, we are going to go to primary school, to secondary school and go to university. After that, get a job, buy a car, get married, you know, build a house, get married and that's life. And then we just realized, when we got into school, things got different from what we expected. Maybe I thought I would become a lawyer, but then this is where I am. Wow. <laughs> Interesting, you know, life life is is full of surprises. Uh, we we never get to know what is coming next. You know, um, uh, I, I I realize that life is about being deliberate. That's the word. Uh, I mean, you have to be deliberate. You don't have a direction. Definitely, you you're going to lose out, and you may fall for anything. Um. So, what do you love most in your life, Mr. Jonathan? Uh, what do you love most in in doing activity, uh, whatever business? What do you love most? What Church. what what takes most of your time? Church. Church. Why do you choose to say that? Because that if I count my time all through the day, I do more churchy stuff than I do. I do this. Um, uh, I would say that. Uh, Okay, that sounds crazy to our generation, everyone. Uh, someone else would have said I'd love to, to go do this, go do that. But to me, the first thing is church. If I'm doing what what is churchy, if I'm doing ministry, that's the most important thing. But of course, the two come together. There is career, and then there is... Uh, and then there is, is church, basically. So, me, I spend my time by and by doing church stuff, and also doing business. Okay, so um, does doesn't church sometimes conflict with your duties? Like, uh, for instance, if you say you love church, we know very well that uh, church usually uh, gives its own programs, like lunch hour fellowship. Doesn't it contrast uh, with what you have to do? Because someone out there may wonder if I dedicate my life to Christ and you know I have stuff to do. Won't, won't it conflict? No, it depends. I mean, like uh, most people think that you have, you have said this is my life as a maybe say if you're a lawyer, uh, this is my life as a lawyer, and then this is my life as a church guy, this is my life as a footballer. If you're going to live your life in the balance of truth, it's uh, 
uh, everything is as one. I give church 100%, I give business 100%, I give myself 100% and I give family 100%. I don't give a certain percentage to this and then a certain percentage to the other. I take them all as one because it is also now your understanding of church. Even right now I'm doing church. <laughs> I'm serving people here at wow. work and I'm doing church. So it's not if I'm just at church praying or singing or doing something like that that I'm doing church. But my everyday life from morning to evening is basically what I call church. Uh, may I ask you some personal questions? It's okay. Are you married, sir? Anna, leave me. Uh, when are you planning uh, to do such? <laughs> not even planning. Oh, goodness. The other gender. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have children? <laughs> they get children in marriage, my brother. Oh, we do have people who have children before they get married. I'm an exception. Interesting. Wow. Um, who inspires you? Christ. Christ? How do you get uh, his his character to in, inspire you? He's inscribed everywhere in the Bible. From how he lived his life and when he was a child until he was a man until he died. How about in the world? If I follow everyone as I follow Christ, as they follow Christ, if they don't follow Christ, they can't be inspired. There are people that do art, but what kind of art do they do? There are people that, that do music, but what kind of music do they do? So I cannot say that someone inspires me yet. The center of what they do is not from where I draw my life. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is your comment about uh, this era when um uh, people are, are, are believe that uh, even human bodies are forms of art because apparently uh, when I look around social media mm -hmm. and in most photo studios um, you find them using uh, female bodies as uh, as forms of art and uh, they defend it that it's not nudity but uh, you know art and you know you, you do art isn't it? I do art. Don't you get certain clients who want certain ridiculous uh, for, for example, ridiculous uh, products. For, for instance, someone says, I want you to draw uh, a photo of a naked woman and it, it has to be attractive, it has to be this, or you want me to, uh, to photograph me, this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What is your comment about uh, the direction of the world being... I think, I, I think it is principle. I have, what I, I have what I am. For example, there are a lot of artists in town. There are a lot of, not in town, but in the world, yes. that are able to do every kind of work. So, if it is something I feel I cannot do, I refer you to someone who can do it. Yes. Yeah, but I do what I can do. You cannot finish all the money in the world and you cannot do every project. So there are projects I do not do because they, they go against what my principles of life are. So there are things I, don't, I won't do just because I want to have money. Because money is not the driving factor here. Do you talk about Christ with your clients? Yeah, when they let me. I think it's not about talking about Christ, but I think it's about your life because your 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 message is your life. If if my life can't preach preach Christ, then I then I cannot speak Christ. My actions speak more than the things that I say. So um, the actions speak more than the things that you say. Yeah. So and someone notices a difference in how I do my work and how I am, and then they would want to know what is the secret behind it, and it's Christ. Are you sure you, you, you control your emotions, uh, for instance, with, uh, with clients that are not respectful or they are violent it's in honor. some sort? People are different and they grow up in different places and settings. And so you respect everyone according to how they come. I handle you on the way you come to me. If you are hard, I find how to handle you. Um, this looks good. Did you work on this yourself? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, the photography was yeah. from here. Mm -hmm. So guys, you, uh, I think you can come around here for uh, the best graphics. I can see some t-shirts. Uh, they look really dope. You, you can come around. Apparently, Mr. Jonathan is, is a, a musician. Although he says he's keeping it on hold right now to build his career, uh, the the Christian group he he leads is Four Twelve, and you can check them out on YouTube as well as other social media platforms. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, I think it has been a pleasure. 
hosting you on Kate Edge Talks. At Kate Edge Talks, we, 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 we host relevant people to society because at Kampala Edge Times, we focus on positivity. Anything that goes against positivity, we don't do it here. And I, I think you've given us a lot of information that we need to know. A lot of people are demotivated. Uh, what, what is your last message to people who are depressed, demotivated, and some who are having bad thoughts because of this situation? I'll talk about one, I'm first going to begin with career. Um, when, as you're growing up, the things that you're going to do in life have been built in you from when you were a child. I know that I started drawing before I was a child. I may not have done art at school, maybe at all level or something, but I knew in my heart that I love to draw. So when you have a child and they love something, if your child loves to play football, if they love to sing, don't press it down. So as an individual, I've grown and now. This is what I do. I do art in every aspect of art, from engraving to all embroidery to printings to drawings. Uh, with pastels, with chalk, with pen, with pencil, and anything, any kind of art. So let your child do what they like because it is hard to get a job right now. But if you have art, if you can do plumbing, if you can do, let's say, you can do anything that is of hand, you won't need papers. Any place you go, you will find work. So we are moving, shifting into a time where people are going to be looking for people that have skill and not just papers. So get some skill for you to help you in a season as this. When they close down schools, a teacher who had skill did not stop to earn. So, and then away from that, if you're feeling down because of the situation, I mean pray. First and impo most importantly, pray. I've seen God take me out of things that I thought I wouldn't get out. He's taken me out of dates. He's taken me out of situations. He's taken me out of wrong relationships, out of wrong jobs. He has distanced me from wrong people. He has kept me out of prison when I surely was worth being there. So I will tell you, first of all, pray. And the second thing, believe that he answers when you pray. So if you've prayed, believe that you have the things that you prayed for. Above all things, have peace. If you don't have something, please don't be too proud. Have friends and tell them this is what is going on. Have a circle of people you can tell them what is going on with your life. I have people that can go a day without food, but if they caught their phone and called some friend of theirs, just cut their pride. They wouldn't have slept hungry. So cut your pride. Do anything that you can do, no matter how it, how bad it looks like. You can never despise days of a humble beginning. I think that's it for me. Perfect. Yeah. That was very perfect. Thank you so much All right, for man. the time. Yes, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much if you watched this video. If you liked uh, the information you received here, please smash the subscribe button and do not forget to like and share. This information is really vital. Me, myself, I'm inspired. I'm inspired because sometimes I lose my faith. I lose uh, grip of what I'm trying to do. Everything that I try to do, I, I try to have uh, someone I hold on to, someone I trust, so that uh, I can talk to that person, hey, what do I do when I get here? Why is this not, not working out? If you don't have such people, life can mean to look a little different. Uh, I am so grateful to Nath, uh, Jonathan, he's really amazing, I have known him for a while and we are good friends. There are more celebrities gonna be hosted here. Just keep your fingers crossed. A lot of good stuff is coming. You gotta know that everything is just getting better. Everything is just going to grow. And uh, more information is going to be on my website, kampalaitimes.wordpress.com. Um, I think I have to say bye for now. <laughs>